while we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. decided grappling advantage and most people believe eventually if this fight hits the floor in transition Tom Aspinall will be able to find a submission missed with that attempt and blocks that hard punch well he's been good tonight but he missed with that one Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Doubles up on the jet. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Oh, the connection with the left from the champ. lands another combination his cardio is so good that is that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace when his opponent is done at two he is stringing together four five six more different strikes you don't do that without having fantastic cardio fast pace here in the early going they're so evenly matched and they're going to the attack Very fast, like he glanced. All right, 
So look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, I like that kick there. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Long lives the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Lands a quick jab. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Johnny burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Though. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh. Two minutes remain in the round. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Aspinall gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Whips on the straight right hand. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. But look at the footwork. Look at the fading of the shoulder. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Through. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Establishing the jab here. Takedown defense holds up. Strong punch to the head in the clinch. Lands a big elbow there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Uppercuts are coming. He better oh. start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, effective use of the jab by Pereira. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Man, how good is that? The hard hook lands again. He has used that strike to great effect on him. He has a great ability to find that shot. He does it really, really well, and he lands once again. I mean, this 
just looks like it's about to be over. He has taken way too many of these leg kicks. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he's showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. But is bleeding heavily from the mouth right now. Cut man can only do so much with a cut on the lip, and it's only getting worse by the minute. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Oh, 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 Blocks the shot there. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned. Oh, and DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Aspinall's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Right to the neon belly. Mm, that was nice. Aspinall's in half goal. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of the show in that defense. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Oh, huge kick to the leg. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a oh, Big, big shots here. But it is really bleeding badly from his lip here. A few more strikes absorbed, and that could be the end of this fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Aspinall getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. I need you to move. Scramble. Seconds winding down in round two. Aspinall's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pene. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Oh! Oh, big shots raining down. Today is a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. Starts the posture here. Oh. He's over his opponent, dropping big ground and pound. Looks as though he fades upstairs and lands flush to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. 
That one landed perfect in this fight. Need to stop very soon. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are... All right, ref has called a break to the action here, likely to call in the doctor to look at that cut and a lot of blood donation going on right now. And for as fun as this fight has been, I can only hope that the physician still lets this guy fight. He wants to fight. He wants to continue. Let him go. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now we've got to take some chances. He's got to go out on his shield, and he's going to go out, because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain. <laughs> He's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your pop going all over I the broadcast. I did, John. You know I love pop. Oh, a solid kick right there. He can't get too excited here. He's got to take his time. Pereira's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. You don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, that'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the...